Hello, I'm back for the very first video in a very long time and I'm here to give you an update on my return since July 2019 on this $1,000 cryptocurrency portfolio experiment. It's been almost two years of holding this portfolio and I'm due to give everyone an update, especially in this bull market. I would also like to apologize as I said I'd update this series every fortnight that absolutely did not happen and i'm very sorry about that but it's better late than never so just a recap on this one thousand dollar cryptocurrency portfolio experiment i purchased forty dollars worth of all the top 25 cryptocurrencies at that time and all the cryptocurrencies were purchased in july 2019 no stable coins were purchased in this experiment and we have to note that at that time the total market cap of cryptocurrency was only at 270 billion so quite low if we compare it to today's standards and the bitcoin price at that time was at around ten thousand two hundred dollars so again very low so here's a recap on our last portfolio price since the last episode which was in august 2019 you could see our holdings of 25 coins we had a, a total value of $979.75, which netted us a loss of around $11.95. So remember, we purchased everything for around $1,000 in total, and we made this small loss at that time. So here we are. It's now April the 21st, 2021. I'm going to reveal what we currently have in this cryptocurrency portfolio that we've been holding since. So here it goes. There we have it. We've done $6,698. Well, it's just changed to $6,699 just now, which is almost about 500% that we've actually done, around 500%. And I can just go through the top holdings that we currently have. And it, the landscape of cryptocurrency has completely changed in this bull market. As you can see, when we purchased forty dollars of uh, Cardano or ADA at that time, we got six hundred and ninety-one ADA at that time, which is absolutely insane considering it's worth one dollar and twenty-four now. So that's what we got, and let's just change this because I'm in twenty-four hour date range at the moment. So I'm just going to change it to two years, so it makes a bit more sense. Now it's looking more like it now so we purchased around around what's this date also in august so around 16th of july so yeah it's around this time and it states the portfolio value was around 1039 dollars and up until 2021 around january we we just had this exponential bull market that's just been absolutely insane and you can see the graph here it's just gone parabolic and so cardano our number one holding at the moment we've done over two years we have actually achieved over 1550 percent gain which is unheard of in any sort of market now I, I will compare back with our traditional markets in a moment but i just want to go through some of the coins that we purchased at that time bnb we purchased for 40 dollars we purchased 1.43 bnb at that time but the, the value now is for one bnb is 564 dollars which is again crazy a, a two-year return of 2070 crazy crazy returns link at that time we purchased 14.5 and again here where it's worth 37 dollars absolutely insane 8,000 return 8,000 percent return so if you purchase link in 2019 you've done extremely well and again everything is just up so ethereum one of the heavy hitters in cryptocurrency and i do believe ethereum bnb bitcoin needs to be in your portfolio it's just an unbelievable return of a thousand and two hundred percent on that okay b again i'm not too sure what this particular coin is as it was part of the top 25 at that time so we've still done extremely well on that particular time i'm going to change this to the the profit and loss i wonder if i can change this here but no i can't seem to change that so i've just changed it back to the holdings neo again 
it's worth $100 now. Back then we bought three for only $40, which is quite insane if we think about it. Moving on onto the other cryptocurrencies, every single one has done extremely well. Now moving, I think the worst performing ones probably EOS. We purchased $40 at the moment and it's only worth $61. So this has actually been extremely poor if we compare it to all the other ones. EOS, Leo, I'm not too sure what Leo was. I've actually completely forgotten about that one. We also had Dash as well. Hasn't performed very well in comparison to it. But 157% is still extremely good, especially in any market. Bitcoin SV, I'm pretty sure this has been taken off a lot of exchanges at the moment. However, I think only a few exchanges support this particular Bitcoin variant and then we have crow crypto.com we purchased 544 of that back in 2019 and again those gains haven't been too good in comparison if we compare it to the likes of link or BNB or I think link is definitely the number one if you held on to that you'd make 8,000% gain which is absolutely insane so yeah so I'm gonna just cap it at so say 6714 which is a 655 percent gain in the last two years unbelievable you'll never see that type of return anywhere in the market and yeah so if you held since 2019 you've done extremely well i just want to go back and have a look at the current market what we have in cryptocurrency at the moment as you can see we're at two trillion at the moment bitcoin is gone extremely high to the likes of 55,000. There are talks of this particular coin going up even higher in this bull market, which I I, I think will happen. Ethereum at crazy prices of 2004. And then you get BNB, which is, if you think about BNB, BNB last year was only at $13. And now it's at 565, which is I don't know what's happened with BNB, but they have really, really in the, the the economy the economy of actually BNB. They've introduced DeFi applications. You can use Pancake Swap of it, and the transaction fees are quite low on it. And with Ethereum as well, with the whole introduction of DeFi projects, this is what's pushed these two up extremely high. You have Ripple at one dollar and thirty six. I never ever thought would see the likes of these prices, especially for Ripple again. But a true winner out of everything is actually Dogecoin. It's just done absolutely insane, insane ride since, let's just compare it to a year ago. So a year ago, you could probably buy a million Dogecoin for, I'd say less than $1,000, right? Or I'm not even sure if that's even less than $1,000. Now, if you are going to sell your 1 million Doge, you, you've netted a profit of like $320,000. Again, the true winner here is Doge price. And it's helped with, you know, all, all of these coins, all of the cryptocurrency has helped with the likes of inflation. Inflation is at all time high. The US is printing money like anything. They're just printing money for the sake of it. Also, there's also the talks of, you know, the economy with the pandemic of what's going on. Where are people going to put their money? Interest rates are extremely low. So people aren't going to put their money in banks at the moment. They, I mean, the best rate they're going to get is about 0.5%. So they need a safe haven to keep cash or something to beat inflation, which is why cryptocurrency has gone up. And with the likes of Elon Musk purchasing Bitcoin, pumping dogecoin as well you've got other companies that are jumping on board cryptocurrencies that we never thought would jump on we've got the likes of paypal we've got the likes of actual banking institutions coming on board with cryptocurrency we've just had the coinbase ipo that's happened all of this has mounted up to this crazy in insane price of 200 2 trillion basically and like every single coin has done extremely well. There are some coins that haven't done extremely well. They haven't come up to the bull run. But if we have a look at the top 25 coins, none of these were in my current portfolio, in my old portfolio. The, the landscape has completely changed. A lot of those coins actually probably in the 100s now. But 
that's that's cryptocurrency if you held bitcoin all the way through you probably would have made much more of a profit but yeah so that's the landscape of cryptocurrency at the moment so here's a comparison with traditional index funds obviously the cryptocurrency portfolio experiment has been a complete success over two years you can see that the price today 6714 gave us a net profit of $5,714.97 with a gain of 571.5%. Absolutely astronomical gains. If we compare it to the Vanguard S&P 500 index fund, you can see the purchase price $1,000. The last price since the last episode, we were in a small dip back then, $976. And the price today is $1,484. Still a very good gain of 48% in two years. I mean, if you, if you did invest in your traditional index tracker, you have done extremely well also obviously not good compared to the cryptocurrency portfolio tracker but you can also see the total stock market index vti if you had invested you would have profited around uh, 409 dollars giving you a gain of around 40 percent and uh, the other ones emerging markets didn't do so well around 22 percent and at uh, the high dividend yield is probably the worst performing out of the lot still gave you a profit however only 16 percent over two years so there we have it the comparison of crypto in comparison to traditional markets traditional markets are usually quite stable and they go up very slowly not as volatile as cryptocurrency so just be wary of that but if you held your cryptocurrency since the likes of 2019 or going even further back to 2014 2013 2012 then you're going to be very well off and you would have done extremely well so congratulations to you holders that's all you have time for for today's episode thank you very much for watching please remember to subscribe and like this video if you did enjoy it and you can follow me on all the relevant social media channels i'll see you soon bye bye